Today we're back with another press conference reaction. It's been absolutely ages since I've done one of these, and um, yeah, we're back again with another press conference reaction. This is where, of course, we analyse Mikhail Arteta's words, I guess, and um, we, of course, just uh, reacts to what he says about the upcoming game. Uh, this time it is against Watford uh, tomorrow, so I thought, you know what, might as well bring press conference reactions back because they were actually fun when I did them, and I do like, you know, um, so I don't really watch these press conferences. I usually like read them if I do it like this way because I find it easier. So uh, as you see, this is uh, yesterday. I'm set on what for Tommy Ashu top four. Uh, the trans, of course, the transcripts are still here. Mick Arteta was back in the front of the media at London Conley on Friday as he previewed our Premier League match at Watford. The boss discussed the latest team news, the fight for uh, the fight for top four. Thomas Pye and more. Read on for the full transcript. Uh, on the latest team news, we are in the same place as last week. We served out over Tommy Yashu, but the, uh, the rest, I think, are in good place. So, I don't know. I think Cedric might have to play um, as the right back. Of course, it, on, on Ismail, uh, on Ismail Asar being a doubt for Watford, well, that's good news for us, isn't it? He's been a big threat for them, uh, that's for sure. Uh, but I think they have other qualities, other strengths that they can use. Um, sorry, they can cause us issues and problems, and I'm expecting out to be... A really difficult game on well, Roy Hodgson, of course, is any manager now. Uh, I didn't expect to do, I didn't expect to do that again because last time I almost said a real goodbye, but he's decided to come back, and it tells you about the person, how much he loves the game, how much he needs the game, and I think it will be great to have him back. And if you're surprised that uh, Roy Hodgson came back, absolutely, because he uh, the last time I spoke with him, he sounded pretty convinced to retire, and looking at his. Um, <laughs> is it? I'm not going to say that word. Uh, and he, and because I, I can't say that word, I don't know what that says. And everywhere he has been, I thought, okay, he's done and he's going to spend some time with his family. But that's the beautiful thing about this game that you just need to live. Um, so, yeah, it was Roy Hudson. Welcome back, Roy Hudson, man. And um, if he does beat Arnsett, it'll be embarrassing. And if Rams are always one of the uh, signings of the season, I was well. Do you remember when we said that about Leno? And look what happened. So I'm, I'm not getting carried away. I'll say that any of my players can get that award, but obviously there is no question about how Aaron is performing, what he's brought to the team, and how quickly he's adapted um, to what he's transmitting every time he's on the field. Hopefully he can get a prize, but there's still lots of games to play. On Watford's resilience, Roy is extremely good at doing that and getting the team in the same mindset and working really hard. Um, and making the team really compact and hard to beat. Of course, that's what they did against Man United. Man United had countless chances, but they part of the bus. They defended well and they got a nil-nil draw. That's for sure. Um, the quality he has, he has more experience than anyone in the league to do that. Um, how to mould the team and how to take the team where he wants to, and uh, how exceptional, or, uh, or how, and he is exceptional on that. On improving our own resilience, I think it's very related to believe and trust. And when you have the winning, the winning the the willingness to, uh, <laughs> bro, I, can't, I just can't. Those <laughs> uh, players have to be successful and to play the game we want to play, how much they like to in interact with and play with each other. Uh, at the end, the consequence of that is probably resilience you're mentoring as well. It has to be built and uh, good experiences, blah, blah, blah. You have to be you are more confident. You know how to resolve certain issues when they appear on the pitch, and it's good because it's it was very much needed in those games to win the matches. Uh, on being favourites for, for fourth place, I don't know. I think it's positive because we are we want to play, uh, we want to be playing. And the reality is, we are not fourth; we are sixth, and that is facts. We are still sixth, but yeah, we do have games in hand. And as I said, I would rather have points on the table than games in hand. Simple as that. It's a long way to go, and uh, to focus on the only aim is to win against Watford. On Roy Hodgson managing team since before he was born. What? Well, Roy Hodgson managing the team since before he was born. I don't know. When you tell me that, it's just incredible how long he's been going. And oh, when Arteta was born, right, I get it now. I get it. Um, yeah, Roy Roy Hodgson's quite old to be to be fair. But yeah, of course he's uh, got so much experience as, as a manager. Um, but do I really rate um, Roy Hodgson? I think he's all right, but of course with England, you look back to the Euro 2016 and all that, it's just like, um, yeah, <laughs> we don't have to talk about that, do we? Uh, he's managed to balance 
his life in a way which is has that much space for football and have a managerial career that has so many things implicit on that, it basically sucks your life out. And then you know he looks healthy, he looks good. I don't know. He's a person that I really admire, and I think he's a great song for any coach to spend some time with him. On the job, it's a great job. It's a passionate job. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really the rest of that. You get the gist. Uh, on being next door, the Wolfram players, yeah, of course. It's actually the training derby, ain't it? It's a training derby. Well, I had some friends from, from my time there, and it's very easy because after training, you can just crash into their game. What is he on about? <laughs> I think it's great. I think the relationship should be stronger and stronger. F f and, for example, Edward has done some work on that. Uh, I think we can help each other in many ways. If it's possible, for it. all right, mate. Whatever. Uh, on if he would invite <laughs> for a coffee. I mean... All right, mate. Yes, this is totally about the game tomorrow against Watford. Yes, that's it. If it ends nil nil, what we'll do is we're gonna invite uh, Roy for a good catch up. One hundred percent. I can I can walk there. No problem. <laughs> Jesus Christ. On where the coffee is better, uh, bro. These questions they just actually give me a headache. On where the coffee is better, also Watford. It depends on who makes it. I mean, I know we're playing Watford tomorrow. What has that got to do? with getting top four and the importance of the three points tomorrow. Who cares about coffee, mate? Seriously. On how hard it... Here we go. On how hard Watford would be to beat on the Warrior Hilton. That's a proper question. Not who who has who does a bet, better coffee, what, Arsenal or Watford. Like, who asks these stupid questions? Uh, very solid, very organised, um, very clear how they want to approach the match and what they would want to say for the match. We obviously have to do what we have planned and take the game in a completely different direction. And that will be a challenge. It's a great stadium with a great atmosphere. Everything is flat and you know what you're going to experience that. Uh, on why he was confident, good things were kind of possible. We have great people, very good players. And uh, well, it's not the end yet of the season, is it, mate? So if, if you don't think it's top four, then you fell simple as that. And I, I think most people can agree with me on that. On Ben White, he's had a brilliant season. I think what he's done is, yeah, I agree. I think Ben White's done really well. Straight away, he's age has been great. Like if anyone has apologised to, to him for his previous decisions, we're always in touch with them because after the match we can all be honest and you get the right players that you want, but we can not have the game. And if he's had any personal phone call from the PGMOL, what is that? I don't even know. He just said no. Just, no. Uh, on what our improved, uh, on what our improved relationship with Watford could look like. It depends. At least open the relationship. Wait, why? Who cares about relationships, mate? We're playing. We're here to play a football match, right? Having relationships with Watford. I mean, I, I don't care. I just want to beat them. Right? I want to beat them tomorrow and get top four. <laughs> Simple as that. Look at this. Another stupid question on what he will be doing at forty, uh, seventy-four years old. What has this got to do with Arsenal versus Watford Sunday? All right, two p.m. kickoff at Vicarage Rose, whatever their stadium name is, right? What what has this got to do? What, who cares what Ante will be doing at 40, 74 years old? I don't know. I'm not even reading that. On if more time on the training pitch has helped our form. It was like that for many reasons because we had to play Chelsea and they had the World Cup Cup. They've won the FA Cup. The space we had there. We have, of course, we haven't played much, have we? So, yeah. Uh, on if the players have reacted positive to some more training. Yeah, they have. Uh, on Thomas Party's good form. I think when you're honest with yourself, it's a great starting point. Uh, when you assess yourself in the way that Thomas Party did publicly, it's a really rare thing to do. He did it because he believed that was the case. So he wants to uh, give much more to the team and to the club. And probably that's something he um, has clicked again. Probably the fact that he's been injury-free is good for him. Yep. Uh, on if he's noticed improvement, yeah, I think we will have. On if Thomas uh, practiced his shooting. <laughs> Yeah, because the sky is lit that way, that way, that way, that way. Uh, he's practising and some of his goals he scores in training. You'll be amazed. Let's hope he does it in the game then, mate. Yeah, Mikel? On the fans planning to wear yellow and blue to support Ukraine. That's really good. And I hope the players do something with it as well. Uh, I will support any in Nez... <laughs> Bro. That is demonstrated that we have to live in peace. And if that's the case and they believe... That is the right thing to do. Of course, I will support it. And I think that was it, to be fair. Uh, I might as well... We, we can read the match preview, because why not? Emma smith Rowe could become just the second player aged 21 or under to reach double figures in the Premier League season for us. 
along with Nicholas and Nelka in 1998 Uh Watford have just earned seven points from 45 games against us. That's actually really good. Let's hope we don't lose. Uh, let's hope we don't get looted. Let's hope we don't lose some more. We scored in every single, uh, in all of our 15 games against Watford. Another good sign. Uh, Watford have kept three key sheets in their lot in 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 their last 16 uh, in their six Premier League games on the Red Hustling, as many as they had in it. Oh wow! So listen, this will be tough. This this will be a that's why I said it's going to be a tight game, guys. You know, I'm probably lagging a bit, but that's why I said it'll be a tight game. You know, uh, we've just scored we've scored the first goal of 14. That's good to hear. Head to head, uh, Arsenal 23 times we played. Watford won 12, Arsenal won 19, draw two. Very poor things. Uh, it's going to be the referee, uh, and I think that is it. Uh, the opposition, blah blah, the highlights. So, thank you so much for watching the press conference reaction. Smash up, subscribe, you are new. If you guys do more, this is oh my days. Look how laggy it is, guys. So, yeah, fresh up, subscribe, you are new. Jump new jump as well, guys. I actually got it. So, yeah, come on, you join us. And let's hopefully.